I don't think we kill them all, but I think we drove them off for a while. So I'm going to loot over here. Yes, I am. Ooh, hello. Uh, right away, yes! Oh, yeah. This is more like it. Right, and ammo. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yippee, there'll be no wedding bells. And we're back. Right, we're still here in Bonnie Springs sewers. I found a little bit of ammunition and an ammunition bench, which was much needed because I'm running out. However, I did look at yeah. As you can see, I'm still not good. 14 shots in my shotgun. I have got a few more rounds in my rifle and obviously my hunting pistol. But we're getting dangerously close to having to use my sniper rifle. The thing we've got the most rounds for are my 44s. Now, because of that, because ammo is a little more, um, I'm, oh dear. I'm wondering whether I should pick up some other weapons and start using them. I probably am going to have no choice. Yeah, because I'm so low on ammo, I'm going to use my more efficient weapon. And even though... I like the Mateba. It's got a DPS of 145, which is great amount of damage per second. It's only got a maximum damage of 64. Sweet Revenge, same DPS actually, but I always find it a little harder to, to deliver the rounds to the same place. For some reason. Not totally sure why. But it does more damage per shot, a lot more. Which means technically... I get more damage for my uh, ammo. And, but those of you who were not paying attention, what we're trying to do... Oh, we, we might actually be close. We're trying to get out of here. We're trying to get out of here. In theory, we're trying to get to the ranger station Foxtrot. Only, I, I started here and kind of got completely lost. And I'm hoping this is going to lead us out somewhere more um, useful. I have to be honest, I'm not feeling particularly hopeful that that is in fact the case. No, I'm not. Viper Gun Slinger. Right. I th think we're going to pick up a few spare weapons just in case. I'm hoping I get out of here soon and can... That's dark. And well trapped. Okay. Got another door over there. Yum yum deviled eggs. Don't think so. That's probably a bit of a hint as to what I can expect. Okay, we've got broken terminals, blood, underground. That, that, that definitely is not where we want to go. We do not want to go further into an underground complex. We're trying to actually get out of here. Curiosity has been sated. What I want now is to get out... Get on with things. Hunting shotgun. That's 12 gauge. I don't actually have any 12 gauge. I do now. 
I can probably make a few. I think I've got some cases. Nice. Steady hunting revolver. We're going to take absolutely everything. Curiosity, did I finish repairing my... Yes, I did. Okay. Okay. Guys. Follow. You guys wait here. You okay, boss. Read. I'll just wait here alone while my heavily armed companion goes out of earshot. I'm sure nothing will happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Veronica looks very, very cool. Uh, oh. Okay. Exit. I like exit. I like exit. Okay, bef bef oh, God, it's dark. Before I bring the guys up, let's just check to see it's safe. Let's find out where the hell we are. Mojave Express. Where the hell are we? Bonnie Springs sewer. My truck. Oh, really, really, just completely... <sighs> if I want to go there... I've got a feeling I'm going to have to do this the long way. I, I, I just... I think I do. That's annoying. That is annoying. But right now, the idea of going all the way around again is giving me the screaming eebie-jeebies while all around again. All the way through here. Come on. It's too dark down here. Way too dark. Okay, so. You, uh... You want to point that someplace else, boss? I got enough holes in me. Yeah, sorry about that. D d d I'm... No. Uh, right. So, okay. We're finally out of that bloody place. You know what? Let's go to the van and stock up on ammo. Yes, indeed. What the hell is over here? I mean, really... I'm doing it again, guys. I'm doing it. It's... It's back. I just managed to cure myself with curiosity. I really had. What have we got over here? I need to go back to the van and get my ammo sorted. Yes, I do. Okay. All right, you two. Should have brought something. Okay, wait here. Be aggressive. I'll just wait here alone, while my heavily armed companion goes out of earshot. I'm sure nothing will happen. Saw someone over there. Where are you? I saw someone over there. Yes, I did. I saw someone. Bonnie Springs. You don't look friendly, gotta be honest. Neither do you.
I gotta be asking at this point. Okay, okay, okay. I know it's dark, but how blind are you? They're all over the place, but apparently they're blind as bats. Right, come on. Let's get out of here. I am curious. Oh. Wait a minute. I told you guys to wait and be aggressive. When they walk past, why don't you shoot them? Really? Now we're doing this? Grenades! Viper leader! Oh god, oh god, oh god, what the hell? Veronica! Where else have we got? What? What? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! No! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Ah! What's up? What's up? Don't die! Do not die! Do not die! That is the only plan I care about right now. You two do not die. Also, don't let me die. Okay, is, is, is this the universe's way of saying no? Be curious. Curious is good. Or am I just trying to use our near-death experience to excuse what you know I always wanted to do? Okay. Um. Well, alright then. I, th I think they know we're here. What happened? Was that a plasma grenade or something? Are you two okay? Well, I think it's safe now. Well, not totally sure why I think that, but. Trail carbine, gonna take it. 44 rounds. Right, we've we've got enough rounds that we can probably do a little bit of an exploring. Yes, we can. In the Uzi. Eh. We're gonna be going in there. We're going in everywhere. want to make sure we haven't left someone who needs killing. Alright. That place is blocked. This place is not. Wait here. Be aggressive. Door to Fargo Traders. Okay. It's you know what. Yeah. Oh god! Taking stim packs. Leaving the. D wait, 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 wait! I've tr Why is my health not going better? Why is my health not? Am I fighting poison or something ridiculous? I am. Take, keep taking stim packs. Just keep taking stim packs. Um, oh god, oh god. Um, anti venom, anti venom. Where's my bloody anti venom? Did lots of it. Anti venom, poison removed. Super stim pack. Sorry, boss. Must be my glaucoma's acting up again. Shut up. Gazadors. I don't. I think. I think they're dead. Ish. 
Um, whiskey and steady and rushing water just in case okay 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 come on you've got a tax speed turbo anything else Come on. Oh, brilliant. I took all those chems for one last Cazador. Okay. Well, you never know. There might have been... Milk bottle, don't really need... Whiskey! Like it. Okay. Well, we just used a lot of chems getting in here, so... Let's make sure we loot this place for everything it has. Wine, I don't think so. Right. And by everything it has, obviously I mean whiskey. Um, turpentine. Oh, and also, if it's got any cleaner. Open briefcase. Leather belt. Don't think I need... Leather belts. Alright. So what did we have out here? We had to have something. Young Casadors. What the hell are young Casadors doing in here? Rounds, and that is just a caravan shotgun. We'll use it to... Yeah, use it for repairs. Toy rocket? Don't really need a toy rocket. Oops. So. Not really worth coming in here then. No, it wasn't. I probably should have known that. Another toy rocket. Oh. Oh, I don't know. We've got a bit of ammo, but the thing is, is we're close to the um, van anyway. Okay. Um You two come here. Kem steady has worn off, of course it has. Oh, daytime. Oh, I suppose that's Should have brought something. Wait here. Right. I'll just wait here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm going back in. Over here. Did he just get killed by rats? Come on. Okay, there's a lot of them. She seems to be doing slightly better against the rats. Rats than him. But I'm alright letting them just bite out for a while. Yes, I am. Okay. Well, I'm glad to see she's absolutely worried sick about her partner. I mean, you know, because, like, she's come run. Are you okay? Oh, and she's weak. I have bad news for you. Okay, stop hiding. Come on. I just want to take you out cleanly. Over here. Uh, I actually missed. Yes, I did. You're suffering from... Whiskey withdrawal. Yeah, I, you know what I should also do? Go and get cured of that. Um. Oh, that's that more open. Okay. Right. Anyone else? 
I'm going to guess not. All right. And you had not X. I'll take it. Why were you hanging around in here? I mean, you must have heard the gunfire outside. I thought to yourself, my friends need me. I should stay in here. Probably wise, actually. Maybe you thought, no one will be stupid enough to enter here. Ashtray? No. Okay. I think we don't really look like we're getting a whole lot of loot from this particular escapade. However, curiosity has been satisfied. And sometimes that's a good thing, right? See, if I'd have actually just said, you know what, we're going in here and kill these people when we have the element of surprise, we wouldn't have had any damage to ourselves. I should have just taken them out. That's what I should have done. Okay, so where the hell... Oh, God, really? Is that the... Where the... Is that the building we went into? Please tell me that's not the building we went into. Because otherwise... Because if so, we really... It is. We're really just going around in absolute bloody circles. Let's follow the road up here. Go to the van. Sort out our ammunition issues. And then take the van to Westside or something. And go the long way round to this bloody radio tower because quite frankly I'm sick of exploring was it up there no it's it's up here my truck up there. can I make oh okay, geckos geckos okay nice one no 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 run We got another one? Put the bloody super sledge down, you... What are you doing? I've told you to... You're out of ammo, I expect to be awed by your dizzy mercantile sense, boss. You're out of ammo. Okay, you are, you're out of ammo. I got it, I got it. Uh, how about you have a... Trail carbine? No, you're not very good at that. You prefer pistols, don't you? You prefer pistols. Tell you what. For now, have some of this crappy stuff. I'll make you a bunch of good stuff in a while. All right, there you go. Uh, super sledge. That's worth something, though. That is actually worth something. Okay. Is it me, or are we just getting more and more of these things? Wait, that's... I was about to say, where's the other one? You're, you are legion, aren't you? Oh, he's... I was going to say he's got no legs. No, he stood in a bush. He's having a wee! And apparently he has a bulletproof head. Shoulder strike. Leg strike. Well, no point shooting him in the head if his head's bulletproof. Okay. So. And... Plasma grenade. Thank you very much. Okay. What was I saying? Back to the van. Take van to west side then take the long way around to the radio station go back to van and then then what, what are we doing after the, we're going to annoy the legion yes that was the plan the first thing to do before we do that before we go back and confront the head khan guy and try and convince him that the legion are idiots we gotta go and see melissa who is in the death claw 
territory. Am I going the wrong way? Yeah. I thought for a second that might be. Um, I thought there was going to be another road coming off there. I'm misjudging the scale of the map. Yeah, so we've got to take the van and to Sloan Quarry after that. But first things, first things, focus, focus. We're heading to the radio tower. No more side distractions. No more getting lost. And absolutely no more crawling through underground places. And let's go and get... Let's go and call in the medical facility and be cured of our whiskey addiction. Also, remind me to pick up some more whiskey. <clears throat> oh, you know what? While we're here in Good Springs, we've got to go and tell... You remember that guy? He asked us about his daughter... Polly or something? And it turns out she's dead. I mean... I'm not all that keen on... Hi, guys. I'm not all that keen on giving him terrible news, but, you know. Um, remove all... Might as well do everything while I'm here. Restore all damage. Limbs. Heal myself. And detox. Okay, that was... See, when I do it myself, it's instant. It's instant. That's how good... I am. Um, I just walk in, wave my hand, stuff gets done. My own body. My own body is terrified of me. I just say, fix, and it fixes. Well, that's not true, is it? Because otherwise it would just do it all the time. And it doesn't. That would be a very useful skill. Yeah, there was, there was, a, there was a guy in here. I think he's in the bar. Old guy. Is that a bounty? Have we already picked that one up? I believe so. We're out of the bounty hunting business for a while. We really are. Hello? Ethan. Yeah, it was. Oh. No one cares. Oh, no, actually, I do care. What? NCR sources say that holding the dam against Caesar's Legion has become their main strategic priority. Oh, okay. No, no. Oh, maybe it was going to be interesting. Um, yeah. What? Yeah, I've got some information about Polly, and it's not good. Oh, God. You're serious. Please, just tell me straight. Is she dead? Did he sell her? What happened? Uh, lie, I'm sorry. Polly's dead. No, she, right, wait, that's right. She became, she became, that's right, she's not dead. Didn't she become vicious and a killer? Okay, let's lie, lie, because cause the other one's just going to get over. Let's lie, she's dead, sorry, my bad. I'm pretty sure it was Polly that was... To Nutter. There was another one I was following her notes, and she died when they knocked her around, but Polly herself became vic a vicious killer. Yes, let's not tell him that. I feared that's what happened. I couldn't imagine her surviving all those years. She was such a gentle girl. Thank yeah. you for looking into it, and for bringing Red Bear to justice. Here's a little something I was saving yeah, for Yeah, I, I heard it. I, what, Goodbye. What was it? And thanks for your help. It's time I left these parts. Yeah. You probably should do that. And don't ask about if you hear any rumors about somebody called Polly the Vicious, the horrible, torturing killer. Um, apparently she was a very good shot, though. What did he give me? Um... It sounded like a weapon. It did sound like a weapon. But unless it was identical to what... Oh! No, it wasn't. Whoa. That's a 12.7 millimeter. That's a big gun. It's just going to look like a normal 12 mm 
Oh, actually, maybe not. They don't normally look like that, do they? Do they normally look like that? Is that... Is that, like, better than Little Devil? That could be better than Little Devil. That's... Little Devil was... 47, 175, and this, I'm going to put this in the same place, 175, 47, oh, it would seem that Little Devil fires quicker, but this does more damage per shot, I generally prefer more damage per shot, purely because, you know, efficiency. Anyway, right, okay, we've, we're cured of all our radiation, and that we have got a lot of rounds. I've got 80 plus rounds. I've also got a few cases, because they're quite light, and that means I can make more rounds if we find a... Uh, we've got 90 in this. 77, sorry, 77 cases there. 83 on my... What was this called again? Medicine stick. Quite a few on my sniper rifle, and of course, I have brought a fair few antimaterial rifle things. Could you stop? You're freaking me out a little bit. I've given Veronica. I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable. Oh no, boss. that's Raoul. I've given him 150 of the good rounds, plus he's got 34 of the crap ones. I've also given him a lever action rifle. I don't know if he's going to use it. I doubt it. But if he runs out, he can switch to that rather than his fists. Or, or the sledgehammer. So he's got that lever action rifle. It seemed like a, the right sort of weapon for him. And some good 10 millimeter rounds. And Veronica has got. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? 350 microfusion cells. That should be enough. So, off to west side, and then we're running northwest ish. Yes, we are. I'm not complaining, but the journey from west side, Vegas, all the way to here, is more than a little bit boring. There is absolutely nothing to see, except rocks and dead shrubberies. We've not been attacked. We've not found a trap. Utterly boring. It's over there. It's over there. Now, usually, at least around here, there are some mantises. Oh, God. Wrong Um. Usually, we get a couple of mantises around here, don't we? I mean, right now, anything. I've just got this horrible feeling that the entire universe has disappeared except for us. Kind of Stanley Parable moment. This is a story about a man named Jack. Jack. Okay, we've actually... Hey. Well, we... Is there anything there? No? Okay. So you guys get all the fun. Now I just stand here looking stupid with an axe. Fine. So that was it. That was our excitement for the journey. One mantis. I didn't even get a chance to hit it with my axe, because you guys blasted it with bullets and plasma. Really is a little wasteful on the old ammo side, by the way. Can I just say that? If you could just let me, you know, hit with an axe. Why? What? Why are you... I, I've told you to use... Okay, never mind. Hello? Hello. 
Ranger Kudlow. Yeah. Nice mask, Ranger Kudlow. Oh, you're the person I'm looking for. I need to confirm your report about the Great Khans with trained death claws. You must be mistaken. I haven't filed any report like that. Trained death claws? I would have remembered that. If someone yeah, is saying I filed that really. report, that's a load of crap. I won't have my name attached to a clerical error. Okay. All right. Be no trained death claws. Hello. Is it sad that I'm a tiny bit disappointed? Just a little. I am. Right, here's the question. Here's the question. So that... The next few ones we're going to check are over here. We'll do that later because because what we want to do right now is... Is... Annoy the... You know what? I'm suddenly really, really curious as to all these ranger stations. I really am. I'm suddenly curious as to what the other reports were. I wasn't paying attention when she was complaining about the... Um, Reports. Trained death claws. So, yeah, we've either got a choice now. We, we run back. Yeah, no, my question. I had a question. My question was, is it better to just try and hop back to Red Rock? No, it's not, because my van is now at West Side. It's, oh, God, we've got back across here again. The almighty passage of boredom. That's where we're going. So, yeah, what was what was I thinking? We either go and try and convince Melissa to stop supporting the Legion. Which I sort of consider like community service. Or we go off to the other radio stations to find out if they've uh, got any reports of trained death claws. We were essentially having to choose between the pleasures of annoying the Legion and absurdly crazy. And I'm really, really torn on this. There was a job up there, wasn't there? Wasn't there a job? Northern Passage. Definitely should check that out sometime soon. Change of scenery might be good for us. I tell you what, I'm also thinking I should possibly bring one of the other guys out for a little while. They get kind of, you know, antsy. Little sort of pent up. Should take them all out. Take them for a run, so to speak. Eddie. We haven't had Eddie for a while. Oh, I'll tell you what. Arcade. I'd only just got Arcade when we lost him. Not totally sure Arcade and Raoul would get on. Might be wrong. Okay, so yeah. Um, Where are we going? Where are we going? Yeah. Okay, come on. Reports of trained death claws versus actual death claw. Let's go and check on the reports of death claws. That sounds more amusing and less, you know, involving dismemberment. And I'm, I, where have I got to go? Where have I got to go? Ranger Station Delta, which is near to Camp Forlorn Hope. Wait a, wait a minute. Isn't that... Where the quest was given? Why can't she just check that herself? Alright, what's this then? Boulder Beach Cap... Okay! Really? Oh yeah, we were at Camp Golf. Liked. I've not been to Camp Golf. Why have I not been to Camp Golf? So it's near to Boulder City. Boulder Beach Campground. Okay. Boulder City Camp Golf. Now I'm curious. Anyway, um, Boulder City, Let, let's... Let's just go and find that. I'm really curious now. Train death claws, though. That would actually be... kind of cool. Trader. 
Do you have any money? Hey there. Need any? Just want to see if you got any money. Sure. You have. I'll be back. I've got to go get some stuff from the van. It's just... Don't run away. Oh, that reminds me. I really, really should go and finish that bounty off. I really should. I know it was depressing, but... If I don't get more water soon, I won't make my quota this season. If I don't get more water soon... Unfortunately, there are some people in dire need of shooting out there, and apparently it's going to be up to me to shoot them. A little depressing, but also true. Okay, let's take the... Sawn off shotgun and the rip. Right, that, let's take those. Those should be easily enough, no matter how good at bartering he is. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah. So hey many there. things to Need do. Need anything? Just really come on. That's sure. just not polite. Here's what I got. It really isn't polite. Uh, right, you have got... Oh, I'll tell you what, let's have a look, first of all, at what you have, just in case. Do you have... Radaway? Right Answer no. Do you have mods for... The GRA mods for hunting pistol? Also no. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Do you have any interesting... You don't have anything interesting whatsoever. Um, I don't actually have one of those. Katana Authentic Blade. Hmm. I mean, why not, I guess? I mean, I won't actually use it, but sometimes it's just nice to have stuff, you know? Good stuff. I like good stuff, right. The... Radio tower was in this direction. Coyotes. I saw it. I did see it. Didn't I see it? That's it there. Can I get through here? Or do I have to go all the way around? Um. It does actually look like I need to go around. I make that? I can make it? I can make it? I can... Yes! Probably you guys can... Whoa. Can you guys make that? No? Fine. Come on. Let's just, just, just... I don't want to leave you behind getting all confused. This way. Really? You had to run all the way around that? You couldn't fit through that small gap? Because if so... We might have to put you on a diet, miss. That was about eight meters wide, so. Um, we've been here before. Don't shoot him. Weren't there a legion last time we were here? I think there was some legion. I also think there were some of those fishmen. Over there. Yes, I do. Oh, actually, we are going up there. Right, so. We're probably looking for a ranger, not the radio operator. You look ranger-ish. Looks like we booted the legion out Let's of Nelson. Our ranger. Well, damn time. Usually it's somebody with a name. We won't ranger no Linholm. Lineholm. Linneholm. Did you need something else? Um. Oh. Any interesting places around here? Just. Have you ever heard the story of the bomber that crashed into the lake before the war? Supposedly, it's mostly intact. Even um, after all that time. May have. Sergeant Reyes sent me. She's curious about the high casualties at this station. Oh, right. No train death clause. 
High casualties. Really? That's a casualties? lot less interesting. We've had one broken ankle, but nobody at this post has died. Um, maybe you're lying to keep morale up. No, it looks pretty boring here. How could Reyes have been wrong? There are other ranger posts around. Reyes might have mixed up the report. Okay, well, did, did you submit a report about trained death claws then? Reyes information says otherwise. Any injury, illness, or death gets radioed to Ranger HQ at Camp Golf. Okay. Chief Hanlon and his aides compile the reports and assign reinforcements as needed. And they're not needed here. Okay. Reyes got the numbers wrong. Not much more to it than that. Yeah. The only so thing is, is, is... Trained death claws is not a matter of numbers, really, is it? I mean, it's not like you sat around going... Was it five trained death claws or six? So I think that is Camp Golf. No! Camp Golf is there. Ranger Station Delta. Let's go to Ranger Station Delta, check this final one, and then go and talk to Reyes and tell her we're fairly sure there are no trained death claws and we're a tiny bit disappointed about that okay so ranger 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 probably wearing a it's not you we got ourselves a little ranger family reunion now time's right for a apparently few. yes a bit of a ranger cookout going as well Okay, so we're probably looking for a guy in a ranger outfit, like, not a desert ranger and not the... Um, do you have a brother that's in the sort of standard NCR infantry? Because if so, I, I may have some bad news for you. Okay, where the hell... According to my map marker, the person I'm looking for is trundling around here. Is that somebody? Or a, no, the cactus. Okay. Okay, I, th I think I think I found him. I think I found him. a robot there, but it doesn't seem to be hostile, so... Is that robot with you? We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Hello, Robobrain. Alright. What are you looking at? Anyway, uh, yeah, no, excuse me, excuse me. We would like to talk to you about, and I'm guessing it's not. No sudden moves, and you and I will do all right. Dancing What do you want? Claws. Um, you filed a report that said that Legion super mutants wiped out an NCR patrol. No, I didn't. You Big might surprise. hear that kind of nonsense from a drunk trooper on the strip, but not from me. The Legion doesn't have super mutants. No, that patrol was wiped out by its own incompetence. A couple of the troopers were fooling around with a grenade when it went off. Okay. So... See you around. Tell Sergeant Reyes that the suspicions about misinformation being fed to NCR were correct. And that's going to be over at Camp Forlorn. Oh my god, it's a miserable place. Where's... Okay, where's Veronica? Okay. Do they have air conditioning in those things? I mean, I'm just imagining it gets pretty damned gross in there. Oh, okay, how the hell do I get up here, I guess? Okay. That's... Are you guys... Come on, guys. Just, just, just. Up you come. 
Come this way. This is how I got up. I just jumped up on there. Just, just, just come this way. This way. <sighs> oh, God. I can't get back up. What the hell? Oh, God. You made it so I can't get... Oh, there you go. Come up this way. Fine. Find your own way around. You usually do. I never noticed a graveyard here before. Can they make it round this way? Uh, I'm beginning to think the answer to that is... No, probably not. Yeah, all this time didn't know there was a graveyard here. How odd. Am I hearing... I'm hearing creepy whispers. Yes, I am. Okay, you know, one of these days, you guys are going to have to tell me how the hell you do that. And why it is you can't move that fast normally. Can you guys hear that? You hear like a little creepy whisper. Um, right, okay, so, uh, we're looking for Sergeant Reyes. There we are. Sergeant Reyes, Reyes, the radio operator. Didn't we also have another, I think we've got another mission here to transcend troops to... Bits of Springs or something? I think we're supposed to talk to someone and send troops. Welcome back. The Rangers' versions of the reports they sent to Camp Golf don't match what, what you received. Yes. I knew it. it. Was... Every one of the false reports was signed off by Chief Hanlon at Camp Golf. But why would the Chief manipulate the reports? I need you to take everything we found to Chief Hanlon and confront him with it. I don't want to make this public unless we have to. Okay. Go to Camp Golf. Right, okay. I knew we were going to end up going there eventually. Bye. 300 caps is not the end of the world. Didn't we have... Was it, Sounds like we're running. Major Pilati. Pilati. Back already? What do you need? Pilati. Okay, no. What? I thought we could talk to someone to... Lieutenant Gorobitz? What can I do for you? Oh, you're the first recon guy that did the mission with me. The... Oh, meh. The fiend. Could, no, it wasn't Cook Cook. It was... Nephi, Nephi Driver, wasn't it? Yes. What happened to Sterling? Who the hell's Sterling? We've had that conversation. Who the hell's Sterling? Corporal Sterling was an NCR Ranger until he was captured by the Legion. They tortured him pretty badly. He wasn't able to be a Ranger after that, but his eyes are still sharp, so I had him transferred to first recon. Okay. Gary, I Well, you're not the person I'm supposed to be talking to. Are you. One of the Corporal Rangers best looked at me, and I just about surrendered. Sterling. You're the guy he's talking about. You probably don't know anything about transfers, Howdy. do you? Name Sterling. First recon. Can't say I've seen you before. I'd remember if I had. You remember everyone who passes through here? Got a good memory for faces. Landmarks and such, too. Comes with practice, that's all. And a lot of scouting from place to place. Uh, interesting rifle, you... Oh, that is a nice rifle, I think. Well, at least that part of it is. Um, leave an action, right? Oh. I call her the Long Carabine. Didn't always have the scope. I added that myself. Nice. Been shooting with her so long, couldn't bring myself to toss her away. Would have felt guilty to part with the old girl. Um. The other snipers use bolt action, but Gorbets reckoned it didn't matter none if I was different. So long as I can hit my targets. Oh, hell yeah, lever action. It's just the way to go. Can I have it? Please? Can I do something nice for you? Take a message somewhere and then come back and have the gun? No? Have you always been with the first recon? Used to be a ranger. One of the first they sent out east back before we took the dam. Observation and reconnaissance. We took the lay of the land, checked out the locals, and kept ourselves inconspicuous. A couple friends of mine were the first to scout the dam. That was back in 73, if I recall. 
lot of those rangers are dead now. Vegas always chewed men up. It's just a little more literal nowadays. Uh, why did you leave the rangers, and are you sure you need that rifle? Really, just think about it. Well, that wasn't really a matter of choice. Got myself caught by legionaries up near Malpay. They had themselves some fun with me. Mangled my hands and feet pretty good. Wasn't much good with the pistol after that. Wasn't going to be trekking across the waist on any more long scouts either. So you can't really shoot? That does suck. But I tell you what, if you give me the rifle, I will shoot plenty of legion with it for you. Yes, I will. How did you manage to escape Malpais? Caesar's boys figured I wasn't going anywhere after what they'd done to me. So they didn't bother tying me up. I crawled out of there on my elbows and knees. Must have looked a sight. Then I rolled down an embankment into the Colorado. I guess I had a mind to drown rather than give Caesar's boys the satisfaction of killing me. But a couple of rangers happened to be watching from across the river. They jumped on in and pulled me out of there. Lucky break, they said. Okay. How long have you been stationed here? Going on six months now, but I reckon we'll be moving out soon enough. Can't talk about the details. Eh. Till then, we'll man the towers and keep an eye on the fiends. We've had more than our share of trouble from their direction. Okay. Whole thing smells of Caesar to me. Of course, that's just guesswork. I've not seen any but fiends around here, mate. I still bet a few mate. caps he's stirring up the locals against us. I've not seen any... Sorry. You're not gonna... Really? How can you have such a nice rifle and not have something I can do to get it from you? Apart from obviously kill you, which really, really is not gonna happen. God damn it. Always a pleasure. Keep yourself safe. I'd prefer to keep myself with a rifle, but fine. Got a second to talk, boss. Uh, sh bleh, okay. Meeting Corporal Sterling. Well, it kind of got me thinking. You on the Here's rifle, a guy too? He's been beat all to hell, right? I mean, he could have retired from the service, but instead he signs back on and does what he can. You think he did the right thing? Hell yeah! Except he didn't give me the rifle. That would have been even better. I think it's good that he's so devoted to duty. More people should act that way. The NCI put a lot of time and money into his training. He owes it them to use it better. It may seem harsh, but a soldier can't do his job properly. Those limitations. Rubbish. With those injuries, he's nothing but drained on a... No! Um... I think it's good that he's devoted. I think it's good he's keeping busy, but that isn't an option. He's fine. You think so, boss? Because I remember a time when a lot of people stuck to their duty no matter what. It ended with nuclear bombs falling on my hometown. Good point. Uh, it's a good point. No, fair enough. I didn't want to say that. It was just the best of a bad bunch of options. I would have preferred to have said... Just... I don't know what do you want, what it, but I don't know what to say. I, I really don't. He's a soldier. He likes guns. He's carrying around a weapon he can't even shoot and won't give it to me. He's obviously kind of liking the whole life thing and more power to him, I say. But that wasn't an option. You're talking about the Great War. What do you remember about it? After the fire, I knew my sister and I couldn't stay at Hidalgo Ranch anymore. The refugees still oh, yeah. wanted me dead. Yeah, that's They even put a bounty on me. Really? I remember how scared Rafaela was. I told her if she came with me, we'd see the vaqueros. She used to love the rodeo, especially the trick rider. We figured maybe we could find help in Mexico City. We were young. We didn't know what had happened, really. We didn't understand about the bombs. Hmm. Wasn't Mexico City basically annihilated in the Great War? I don't think it was as hard hit as D.C. or Bakersfield. But it was bad enough. By the time we got there, the city was a radioactive ruin. Still, the city was full of looters, already forming into the beginnings of raider tribes. Crime was bad before the war, but now it was a nightmare. We were living like scavengers, scraping by on what little food we could find, always looking for medicine for my burns. And then, of course, the radiation started to kick in, turning me into this handsome devil you see before you. Um, sounds pretty bad. You're a poet of understatement, boss. It's my middle name. But there were moments it was almost worth it. I still remember finding that novelty costume shop. I was a just what? looking around for something I could slice up to wrap my burns when I saw the vaquero outfit hanging on the rack like it hadn't been touched. I took it, not like anybody else needed it, you know, and wore it back to our camp. 
Rafaela Lab for the first time since the bombs had fallen. Oh, okay. Wasn't it dangerous to be dressed up so noticeably? It was. I started to build up a legend. Sometimes it headed off trouble, but most of the times it just started more. Young punks looking to prove themselves would come looking for me, but my eyes were sharp and my guns were quick. For a while, it seemed like we might even survive there. Until... Until Rafaela. Oh, God. No, what? What happened? She went out to find some food one day. I was sick, so I stayed at her camp. I guess it must have been the beginning of radiation poisoning. Anyway, it was supposed to be safe. But some raiders happened to pass through where she was scavenging. I won't speak of what they did to her. When I found her body, the only way to recognize her was this funny little scar on her knee from when she was a little girl. That really does suck, doesn't it? Terrible doesn't begin to cover it, boss. I let my whole family down. First the ranch, now Rafaela. I was the last Tejada. I guess maybe I went a little crazy then. I took my guns and went back to that market. I didn't have many bullets, but I had enough. After the raiders were dead, I salvaged what I could from the store. I was tired. I just wanted to be alone forever. So... what did you do then? I left Mexico City behind. I made my way out to the Gulf Coast. Eventually, I found an old Petro Chico refinery nobody had claimed. I stayed there for a little while, and I thought a lot about my life. I thought about the guns I'd lived by and what they'd gotten me. I decided my guns hadn't gotten me anything, and it was time to give it up. I took off the old Vaquero outfit and put on a Petro Chico jumpsuit. The name tag said Miguel, so I started using the name myself. Eventually, I made it to Arizona. That's another story, boss. Okay. That kind of sucked, didn't it? Well, look on the bright side, mate. Look on the bright side. You're with us now. And you're going to get to have lots of fun. Hey. And quite probably use those guns a little more. And by probably, I mean definitely. Yippee, yeah, there'll be no wedding bells for today.